Okay, thanks again for joining us at Better Pix. Uh, just got a quick video today on how to crop an image in Adobe Camera Raw. As you can see, we've got a uh, DNG file here ready to go. And uh, looking at uh, this image a little bit closer, you can see that the horizon is a little bit crooked. Uh, not a huge amount, but certainly enough to warrant uh, giving it a little bit of attention. So we're going to look at Adobe Camera Raw, as I mentioned earlier. Um, to be able to open this image in Adobe Camera Raw, one method is to right click on the image and the third option down from the top, open in Camera Raw. You can also click on this little aperture style wheel up the top, just above the image there in uh, one of the top menus. Uh, as you can see, when I hover over there, it, it comes up as open in Camera Raw. Uh, so if I just click on that, uh, there we go, images opened up in RAW. Um, so this was shot with a drone down in Byron Bay on the east coast of Australia. Uh, obviously lovely weather on the day. Um, so if we go up, there's two tools that I want to look at today, the crop and straighten tool. Uh, so we'll look at the uh, straighten tool first, which the shortcut is A. Uh, you can see there in brackets. So if I just click on that, you can see the horizon is a little bit crooked. Uh, so if I just simply click and drag that little dotted line along the horizon uh, in line with the horizon then it will automatically uh, give me a crop that mean that that will allow the horizon to be completely straight if i hit enter you can see it crops in on that image slightly and uh, the horizon is now perfectly straight we'll just go back and do that one again so if i just hit ctrl z it will undo that previous uh, command and if i go up and select my straighten tool and click from one side to the other it's going to leave us with a nicely straightened image now it's important to um, to remember that with that straighten tool if for example you have vertical lines or you're inside a building or you want to straighten a vertical line in some way you can use that uh, crop tool or sorry that straighten tool uh, in a vertical fashion as well as you can see I've just done a, a rough perpendicular line to the horizon there and it's uh, it seems to have done a fairly okay job uh, but of course the the most accurate way to uh, straighten any line is to draw a line directly along the line that you would like to be straightened whether that's a vertical line for a building or a horizontal line for a, um, a landscape you know use, obviously using the horizon if we go back to that original uh, file untouched let's have a look at the crop tool the shortcut as you can see there is C now there's a, a, a number of different ways uh, to use the crop tool um, for example, it really just comes down to creativity around how you want your image to be presented and cropped. So I might look at this image and go, yeah, it would probably, or possibly look very nice as a panorama. Although when I start to crop, it seems to be cropping in the same aspect ratio as the image itself. So well, actually it's a little bit, uh, a little bit less. It looks like it's a four five uh, aspect ratio. So if I just make that crop and then right click, you can see it comes up with a whole bunch of different options. Now, if we look firstly at the normal crop option up the top there, that allows me to crop in any shape at all. So with complete flexibility. If we look at the next one down, one is to one, these are obviously the ratio, so that then allows me to crop into a square. Uh, and so on and so forth, two is to three, three is to four, four is to five. There's a number of different options there. Now, if I click on custom, I can create my own custom ratio. If uh, I have, say for example, a number of images that I want all cropped into the same ratio, uh, that's a great way to do it. The other options to look at is show overlay. You can see I've got that ticked there and that just means that I've got a three by three grid. And it means that if I'm cropping and I wish to rotate that crop slightly, in this case, I'm rotating it to match the horizon, then I can simply do that by hovering the mouse just on the outside of one of the corners. You can see the mouse icon has changed and I'm able to click and rotate that crop in any way that I like. Um, set to original crop means that it's taking me back to the original um, uh, frame of the original image and clear crop if I just make a very quick crop so I can demonstrate that one clear crop means that I can also clear that crop back to the original hope this video has been helpful and don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the bottom